Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith, Dream, Create, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my Christmas card series for 2022. In today's video, I'm actually going to do a Recycle With Me project. I'm going to be using these eggnog containers and cutting out various elements from it to create some fun cards. We'll actually be making four cards in today's video because we have the snowman and the two different colors of holly and the berries and there's two snowmen on the one box. So I could not not make two cards out of this. So when I first started my channel, it was either the first or the second Christmas card series. I did a recycle with me project with the eggnog containers. So I'll have that linked down below in the description box if you want to check it out. This was a little bit of a different color vibe from that. So I thought it'd be fun to create another card and I've never created with the holly on the eggnog container. So I'm excited to create these cards for you and share them with you. And if you are new here, I also do have a recycle with me series that I like to post to every once in a while when I am inspired and want to switch it up from just the normal card making. I feel like that series can get lost in the mix of all the fun craft supplies, all the fun stamps that I have and use in my craft room. But it's a fun way to switch things up and bring you some inspiration, use some things around you that you wouldn't always use in and amongst your craft supplies. Yes, so I am just cutting all of the different designs out and getting ready for the card. Now I just wanna say, that this video has been super sped up because I'm making four cards in today's video. I needed to speed it up or I needed to break it down. So because I'm creating all of these cards with the eggnog container, I thought it would be just best just to put them all here in the same video and speed it up a little bit and just get it done. The cards are relatively the same with a few different things thrown in and you will see that. But I really like how they turned out and I had a lot of fun creating these cards. Let me do know down below in the comments, what is your favorite holiday drink? Do you like eggnog, hot chocolate, peppermint mocha? What do you like? So I'm going to be using these stamp sets from scrapbook.com. They are big and bold and I'll have them linked and listed down below in the description box. I'm not sure what they are called off the top of my head. I'm also going to be using some embossing folders from my collection. And now I'm just inking them up, creating some fun elements on the background. I brought in purple and red and I did that in Distress Oxide. Over the embossed backgrounds, added some water splatter for more interest. And now I'm going to get ready to adhere the cards together. For the sentiments, I'm using Simon Says Stamp clear embossing ink and then gold embossing powder. I really wanted these sentiments to pop over the different colors in the background and especially for the holly cards the berries are gold so I thought that this would really bring those berries out and make them stand out a little bit more so now I'm just assembling the cards and getting a one of them done I'm using the scrapbook.com tape runner that was like a freebie and I'm also using liquid glue I like to use the tape runners for vellum. I don't notice it as much, and I found that it was really hard to use the liquid glue on the vellum, but that was all I had because the scrapbook.com one actually ran out, and I have not had my advanced tape glider for a while, but I finally found tape for it. So I have refilled it, and it's so fun and so nice to have that again. But I love, I'm loving my liquid glue. So, yeah, I'm switching between glues in here. And I was just fixing a few spots that didn't emboss well with my metallic gold pen. And we're going to move on to the next card. So, I have done the background. And this is the holly, the gold and 
purple holly. I'm going to add it into the corners, the holly, and get a sentiment ready. I love how these scrapbook.com sentiments give you so much to work with and give you so many options. So doing the same thing, adding the gold, then we're going to cut this down. We're going to get it into place and we will create all the cards. And I did take a paintbrush or a tool to like take away some of the extra embossing powder if I needed to here and there and heat set this on the vellum and get it all done. And as a finishing touch for the snowman cards and a few of the holly cards I think, I think mostly the snowman cards, I did use a sequence and the sequence are from Simon Says Stamp, they are the Autumn Sky sequence. I picked them up in the Holy Night Simon Says Stamp card kit that was available through Stamp Timber, Stamp Timber in September. Um, they are still available on the website, so I'll have them linked and listed down below as well. I am loving them so much. I have almost gone through them, so I might have to order a few more because I really like all of the stars and the colors and just the fun elements in that sequence pack. So here is the set from Simon Says Stamp that I just mentioned. I'm adding a few of the purple ones in. I think that it worked so well with the purples in the background. And I'm using the Marvy Jewel Pick to add those sequins on with my liquid glue. And that just helps you so much with the process of getting those jewels down. Jewels or sequins down. I feel like it's like one of those must-have tools. All right, so now we are ink blending up another background for the red and gold holly leaves and berries. And we are going to get these cards made. Let me know in the comments as well which one of these four cards is your favorite. I definitely lean towards the snowman cards. I really love the Believe in the Magic of Christmas one. It's probably my favorite. I love the simplicity of it. But I like all of them, but that's my favorite. For sure. As I'm doing this voiceover, my computer is not loading the whole video as it's going for some reason. So just watch the process with me and enjoy. I hope this inspires you to think outside the box and to create with what is around you. And when you're feeling overwhelmed with your craft supplies, to switch it up and bring in something different to spark that creativity again because crafting should be a relaxing and fun and sometimes we need to find ways to to get back to our crafting roots and 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 bring that element of fun back in in different ways I cannot believe that it is Christmas next week at the end of the week. I feel like it comes pretty quickly and then it slows down a little bit and then it's like, whoa, Christmas is next week. I am really excited about Christmas, but it just feels like so weird that it's already here. Almost. <laughs> All right, so this is the Believe in the Magic of Christmas card that I mentioned that I loved. So I am making that one right now. And you will see all of the cards that I am making at the end as well. I will show you all of them. And 
there will always be still photos of my creations over on Instagram. I post there whenever I upload a video, I post the still photo. If you want to get a closer look at these cards, you can follow me over there at faith to create and I will also have that linked down below in the description box if you want to just go click on that and go follow me over there and check out all of the cards I've been making in still photo form. Let me know your tips for vellum. How do you adhere vellum? I always have used the advanced tape glider and you do see a little bit of the tape behind it, but I don't really notice it. Liquid glue was my go-to for this because it was all I had on hand, but it kind of warped the vellum. So what are your tips for adhering a vellum to your cards? And then just adding more of the Autumn Sky Simon Says Stamp sequence into this one. And I love the sparkle and shine in this one. Just all the different fun colors and the simplicity of it. But it adds that pop of sparkle and shine. Yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which one of these cards is your favorite. And then to hide the farm fresh whatever down below, the logos and the information from the eggnog on this particular design. I just took out my white pops of color and added it over that. It was like a snow blob and then added some detail in with that. And then as a final touch, I had left this other snowman card blank in the background because at first I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Then I decided to add a few of the smaller sequins from the Simon Says Stamp Autumn Sky sequence set. So it's like the gold little mini ones. It has gold and purple and blue and greens and, and the little stars. It's just like a fun set. So I'm adding those in where I want them, seeing how many I want to place down. And then I'm going to be able to come back in with my glue and get these adhered down. I love the pops of gold as well with the sentiments and how they are shiny and gold and embossed and it's just super, super fun. So getting those adhered down and I'm pretty sure that's going to finish up the cards for today. Once all of these sequins are down, I don't usually make four cards in a video but I was so inspired by these different fun elements that I got to pull into my craft room and be creative with that I just had to keep creating. Just had to keep on going. So yes, here are the finished cards. This one is definitely my favorite. Believe in the magic of Christmas. I love all of the colors and the sparklies and all of the things and then this is the other snowman one tis the season to be jolly with the gold sequence in the background and then our two holly cards i think the purple one is my favorite i love the non-traditional colors and the sparkles and for this one i added some red pops of color to it and that is going to finish up today's video Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you have those notifications turned on so you know when I upload next. I have a lot more cards and projects coming your way. Bye for now.